It's Monday today, but we are in turn-up mode because Bonaboy has made the African continent proud again and he's getting all of the accolades he deserves. Welcome to NC Trends, I'm Shion Bankali. Now, award-winning Nigerian singer Bonoboy has won the award for Best International Act at the 2021 BET Awards. He beats fellow Nigerian Whiskey, Tanzania's Diamond Platinums, and a couple of other nominees to win the award. Bonaboy has achieved this feat for the third time in a row since 2019, and this is in addition to his Grammy Award win for World Best Music Album in March. We've seen several congratulatory messages across social media, and let's check out a few of them. Bad Men put out this one that says, An honor well deserved, bruv. <laughs> bruv. We are the best singer, lyricist, and performer ever in Mother Africa. And we real lovers of music love you and your music a lot. Yeah, we love you, Bona. All right, Kemzelina says, Shabi, you people used to say he's too proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should remember pride comes before fall. Now, all I see is Bona praises. Odogu, you bad. Efile from Bona. Eh, two hands in the air for Bona boy. <laughs> all right, finally, we have this one from Hail Best Poetry who says, I really don't know what this guy is singing. That's any name. All these prestigious awards, though. And yeah, shall congrats to him still. Hmm. Congratulations to Bonaboy. We will now cross to the east of the continent, where Kenya's Meteorological Department Director Stella Ora is currently in the spotlight after reports that she twisted her leg to stop her from retirement. According to Kenya's 2010 constitution, disabled civil servants are supposed to retire at 65, while able-bodied civil servants would retire at 60. So 60-year-old Aura, who is supposed to go on retirement later this year, twisted her leg and bought cheese so that she can fall under the disabled category. Kenyans on social media have castigated her and called on the government to move with speed and send her home when she turns 60. Let's see some tweets. Henry Morogo put out this one that says, such cases should not be a story to be discussed. Let her leave office for others to lead. Hashtag Stella Aura exposed. Also, moving on, Wambu Ike says, we need to expose such Kenyans who think that they can get away, they can get more working time even after their retirement time. Hashtag Stella Aura exposed. We move away from that to this one from uh, Mku, I hope I got that correctly, who says that, as youth are struggling in this country, the old who are financially stable don't want to retire. <laughs> I mean, if the old people don't retire, how do the young people get jobs though? All right, so returning swiftly to West Africa, the Theatre, Arts and Motion Pictures Practitioners Association of Nigeria, Tampan, has vowed to work against Ikechi Blessing while asking its members to desist from engaging with Iyabojo. Prince Jide Kosoko at a news conference in Lagos said the association has blacklisted Iyabojo and banned movie director from engaging her services as an actress due to the malicious damages done to the movie sector by the two actresses who they say lack any iota of discipline and feel like they are above the law. His statement partly reads, We particularly observe the continuous derogatory statements made by Yabojo against the association and the industry as a whole. Please note that we are not against her stance on the issue of alleged sexual assault, which the association condemns, as we believe only a person without conscience will support sexual assault in any form. However, Yabojo's reckless accusations, abuses, and embarrassment of our sector is also totally condemned. Unfortunately, Inkechi Blessing has also joined in the accusations against the association, and we say enough is enough. Reacting to this pronouncement, Inkechi Blessing prayed that God will disgrace anyone who wants to frustrate her. And Iyabojo insisted that nobody can silence her in the fight against molestation and rape in Nigeria. Let's see what some Nigerian social media users have to say about this. Vani, my lady, says, it is only in Nigeria that people will go against you for standing for the truth and justice. All right, the Bagain Chick put out this one that reads, suspending from acting the Nollywood movies we are managing or what? You all are not even that important anyways. Tampan is not important. Do you agree? All right, we move away to another one from Minerva's Lingerie, who says this would be a really nice time for all the females in the industry to stand together and fight these people, speak up against harassment and molestation, and they get blacklisted, but the perpetrator is getting pampered like an egg. <laughs> and it's a wrap on this segment. Follow at New Central TV on Instagram and Facebook to share your thoughts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more trends and hot topics on the internet. I am Shion Bankoli.